What's up guys, my name is Max the Mate and welcome to another plane review. Today we're doing the Fucker Wolf 190. Um, but this is the Russian version. Alright, so we're in Stalingrad, Russia. We'll be showing you how good this plane is. I reckon it's better than the BF-109. Honestly, it's very maneuverable, it's great aircraft. So I'm just gonna let you have a little bit of a look at it first. Very weird. Uh, very weird looking. Here we have the Russian version. It was made in a uh, plan in Germany, built in Germany, test flown in Germany, used by Germany. So yeah, nice. So and also used by Russians, as you can see, in all the countries. Okay. Oh yeah, the cockpit. Cockpit is really weird shape uh, okay so looking at the front is weird I must say bit that's a cockpit bit let's actually get into the air with this thing this thing is fast reliable Turning speed is that is unbelievable. It's so maneuverable and fast. And this thing took down quite a lot of uh, American bombers and British bombers too. It's using a fighter, uh, a night fighter, Mo mostly night fighters. Fuck, it looks be useful to take out the British bombers. But it looks like the Russians in Wolfen they got their hands on one of these. They'll be amazed on how fast this thing is. I don't know if they used to uh, fuck a wolf over in Russia at the time though, when they were fighting Russia. And I don't, I don't know if they actually used these. Well, I guess for the raid of um, for the Russian raids, I guess. But today we're gonna test out its weapons, like I do in every war from the video our target is over there and we're going at pretty high speeds so we can see if we get on the phone yep so we are doing a great job in the fucking war nothing completely wrong with this plane it's perfect Germans was so good back in World War II yeah but it's like the unexpected one for Wow, one burst, and that thing's down, one burst, <laughs> that is amazing, so, now look at its nice gearing, let's see what it can do with its nice gears up, well, oh. That speed kind of makes it bad with the wheels out. Turning speed? Uh, no, it's not as sharp. Put the gears down. Pull them up. Let's see what the changes in flaps are. So this is the raised. Okay. This is combat. Hard. 
turn. Got a really tight turn. You can check out my uh, my previous video, Wolf Hunter. It's called Wolf Hunter Australian Planes. I'm just reviewing two Australian planes that I believe are absolutely boss. Uh, so, Fuckle Wolf was incredibly amazing. It's my dad's favorite plane. And I'll actually get to fly this. This might be one of my favorites too. If my dad's completely right, I actually believe him that it's probably a, it's a good plane. It's probably my favorite now. And he says it's his favorite, and he's completely right. I didn't know the fucking wolf was this bad. Great. I thought the BF one, the BF one hundred and nine, is better than this. No, no, no. The fucking wolf is better. Better. Alright, so, she was to that. Alright, let's see what this thing can do at low altitude. We are very low to the ground. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe I won't too far. Yeah. Guys, sorry about that. I will be back. Alright, just let me, let me fix my aircraft. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about crashing the aircraft. Don't worry, there's nothing to worry about about that because... That was just a test, basically, but... It didn't seem to, um... I did see... I, um... That was just a test, so we didn't have to worry much about that. Alright, so we're just gonna go back in the air for about five minutes longer and then I might end the video. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm completely impressed with this aircraft. In battle, this thing is absolutely boss. You can, out, you can even outrun some people in the really slow vehicles, like bombers, fighter bombers, uh, slow fighters. Any slow plane, this thing will outrun. Too easy for the fuck a wolf for slow plane. So if you're in a slow fighter, are you serious? So I actually don't have the fuck a wolf 190. I'm just test flying it, same as the boomerang and the wheelway. So don't get too excited that I have a fuck a wolf. Anyway, get your minds off that. That was an another crash landing by me. So um, that's all I really have to say for the fucking Wolf 190. That's all I'm going to have to say for today, guys. Um, every day or once a week, I will post a video on Wolf Under Team Fortress 2 or any other random games. So hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I absolutely love Wolf Under. And, uh, I really do love this plane, guys. So if you want to see more great videos with great planes, tune in to my channel for some nice videos on Wolf Ender. So that's all I have to say for today, guys. And I'll